Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome back to my little jungle. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Yeah, I used to say welcome back to my little jungle, but my little jungle is kind of dry right now because of the winter, so everything are brown. <laughs> if you can see there, yep, those are my mint and they're brown, but they're still alive. It's just, you know, winter kills some of the growth, so, but mints are so hard to kill, so. Anyway, if you can see this one here, that's the bucket for my moringa plant. I tried to grow, uh, me and my husband, Equip Yourself Life Skills, I actually tried to grow before the winter comes, I mean, the last week of the fall but it grown but because of the weather all of them died so anyway let's go back where I am gonna do anyway I am going to repot two of my new phalaenopsis that I just bought and because it's already afternoon I think it's almost 5 p.m. here where I live so let's do repot some of it and I'm going to repot two of them and I have these two types of pot if you can see this one I just prop that I put that there but if you can see this is a school supply thing <laughs> it's a basket where you can put your um, paperwork like cards like that or pencil some kind of sort of those and yeah it has this too <laughs> I did not remove it there because it might help my plant to you know I might use it later so this one here is a normal um, hanging planter I have these here mm -hmm. that's the hanger but it has a lot of holes at the bottom but it doesn't have hole here so We'll see if my plant is gonna do good there. Ooh, my door just opened and my husband is sleeping on. <laughs> I hope he don't get wake up. He's resting anyway. So, this is what I'm gonna use later. And I have my, ta-da, my bark chips. And I also have this. This is my coconut fibers. And I'm gonna, instead of me using moss sphagnum moss i'm going to use this one because i think just from my own observation this do not degrade so fast like the moss so we'll use this one this time and of course my pruner <laughs> and ta -da, alcohol to so disinfect my orchid anyway let's do it now let's use this one first or maybe this one because it's so unruly it keep popping out from that um pot so if you can see here that's the last but it has but it seems like i'm not sure if it's still gonna oh i think it just needed a water but i'm going to take it off now because mm, yeah like i said my, my previous video i would i'm um, going to make this grow more before you know it can always give me new spikes but if you can see here i am going to trim it you see this node here yeah i am going to trim this here like so oops i don't, I don't want this to like that that's where I'm gonna trim it same thing with this other one the other spike because um, that's the safest thing to do okay so we got that one and yeah you see it's so wet it's because I water them earlier because they are just so so dehydrated and I wanted to hydrate a little bit and if you can see this leaf is kind of like that so I'm just gonna trim it off all right and of course I'm going to remove this old media here and this is the plug where they planted this orchid when it's just a baby so that's the plug they use this is actually a compressed cocoa coir or cocoa peat yeah I call it cocoa coir but most people call it cocoa peat it's all right it's just the same <laughs> everything comes from coconut so <laughs> and I can see that there are some roots that are not good anymore so I am just gonna trim those it's all right yeah, like this one, it's kind of noticeable that it's already dry. So let's trim that. But this one here too. So I'm just going to do that thing. You know, removing the dead roots. And then later I am going to spray it with the alcohol. I don't have a hydrogen peroxide. I can't find it actually. I don't know where I put it. But I know I, have, I still have some. But I couldn't find it. All right. So, this root is still alright, but it's already broken here at the base of the plant. So, I'm just going to trim that right there because it's going to die anyway. But this one here, this is just the part where it's died, dead. 
some of the roots are still doing all right just needed a water I am planning to mount some of my, some of them I'm going to mount at my orchid tower because most of my orchids died from my orchid tower. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's really the winter. Plus, I don't have enough um, room in my living room and I've put them right next to where I sat. <laughs> and I think... They needed more heat. I turn. I always turn off my heater when we are about to sleep. So that's why maybe some of them die because they get hypothermia. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I think that's what happened actually. Ugh. There is a fly that poked me. Yeah, that's not good. Okay. I am just trying to make sure that I don't have mushy roots here because it will die anyway so I'd rather take it off before I repot I mean I put in a pot I keep mumbling <laughs> so I'm just going to spray it with this with my alcohol like so and then I am going to rinse it again mm -hmm. yeah that's what I do and I'm going to do the other one <laughs> see there's no no medium anymore there uh -oh. that's not all right yep the roots are still all right okay let's see oh this one is not Alright, so that's clean already. Yeah, the root system are still so good. They just needed to have more water. You know, just needed to rehydrate them. And I'm just going to rinse them and then I'll be right back. Alright. Alright, so everything are clean now. Yes, if you can see, there's still some of these bark chips here. It's alright. It's not gonna hurt the plant because I am gonna use bark anyway. So. And I've already sprayed it with alcohol. And I'm gonna put this one here. Yeah, if you can see, I've put the plants upside down. It's because I want the crown to get dry. That's why I did that. So, like I said, I'm gonna use this one with that. So, I've already prepared this. I cut it off from that one and I am just going to use it as a liner, just like this. Can you see it? I don't see it. All right. Just, you know, so that the roots is not gonna touch it. It's not gonna touch the pot, the plastic pot. Too. And then I'm going to put these, my bark chips, at the bottom. <clears throat> And prop my plant like so. So if you can see, I am prop propping my my orchids like slanting. It's because I water my orchids outside, and I grow my orchids outside all the time, except winter. <laughs> so I always water them. I always host them. So. They need to be dried right away. So I needed them to be like that. That way the water will just flow all the way. So I just do like that and then put more of these butt chips. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I am coughing so much. And my throat is just so itchy. Yep, yep, yep. So when you are planting your orchids, make sure that you don't have too much, um, what 
you call that the hole inside the, between the um, the roots a pocket hole <laughs> I think that's the, how they call it <clears throat> I'm sorry so let's put some here first yeah I only, I just wiggle like that so some people um, they use stick to you know make sure that they're they're planning it properly but I don't have my stick here so that's why I'm just doing this way but I always make sure that I put the right amount of my bark chips all over here and then after putting these I am going to um, water them that way my bark chips get wet and they start to um, get hydrated as well And my husband just passed me by. <laughs> and <laughs> I get shy. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah, I think it needs more here. I am actually using a Orchiata bark. So that's why I don't soak them anymore because it is ready to use and it's so easy to get wet. Well, that's my observation actually. I don't know with the other people if that's their observation as well, but that's mine. So, okay, the leaves need to be separated. Mm -hmm. I think that's all right now. So that's it. And then I'm going to put my hanger. Just pop it this way. <coughs> Ta-da! <laughs> so I have that. Well, I can move these if there is a new leaf here and it's this one is on its way so I can just move it because you know you can just easily pop this one by doing like that -da. <laughs> so this is a easy hanger basket easy to use so that's one done and I am going to water it later and let's do this one this is how I use this school supply pot okay let's put this here first <clears throat> excuse my throat <laughs> I have here, I've already used this, but um, I only use this for, I think, a few months and I disinfected it. So I'm just going to put it this way as a liner and I still have this, so I'm just going to use it later if I needed it because I need a big one. So what I'm going to do is I am going to trim it this way. Yeah, I just divide it into two because I need a little wider one. And then, I always divide it like this. It's so easy to do it. That's why I keep doing it. Because I don't need a thick layer. Because I am just trying to prevent the bark to keep falling. Because the holes are kind of big. And my bark chips are a little smaller. Kind of finer ones. So... I do this way. I put like that. Same here. Just like that. Uh oh. I need more. <clears throat> so I need more. Maybe I can use this. It's so big. So this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> There you go. So, that bark are not going to go anywhere anymore. <laughs> so, like what I did here, I'm just going to put some of my bark at the bottom. And 
And then, oh, I'm almost out of it. Maybe I am going to um, <clears throat> pause my video so I can get more bark. So I am going to put this like that. Because I am going to hang it like this. Because my hanger is here. So that's why. Alright. Yep, that's how I'm going to put it. Okay, and I don't have enough bark here. Okay, let me just go get my bark chips and I'll be right back. Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't wearing my microphone <laughs> earlier. But anyway, you see how I do it, so I hope you have, you get the idea how I do plant right here. And alri I already put some here, <clears throat> if you can see. I already put bark there and here. So that's it. And we are just going, I mean, I am just going to water this later that way the medium get wet and the plant get hydrated <clears throat> i'm sorry my throat's really itching and i find that these plants keep popping up so i took my little stick and i am going to prop it this way i am just going to poke this here like so and i hope you can see it but i'm just gonna do it like that okay so like so like that I hope you can see that <laughs> oops yeah that's the hole where I put that and this side here that's where I put it <laughs> I hope it will hold it <laughs> it keep popping off so anyway that's all the thing that I did <clears throat> put this here first and there these baby are gonna grow outside of course <laughs> where my orchids are and yeah this is gonna be like these I'm going to put it like that and this one of course is going to hang like that so that's all for today's video folks thank you so much for watching and i'm sorry that my voice earlier is too slow too low it's because <clears throat> i'm not wearing my microphone and my voice actually is not that loud whenever i'm talking because i don't know it's just just my voice <laughs> that's my voice and i don't know how am i going to talk loud but I, my voice did get, just get louder whenever I'm wearing microphones. So anyway, thank you all so much for staying and for watching my video. And thank you, thank you so much for your support. I hope you don't get tired supporting my channel. And I also have a join button if you don't know yet. And if you would like to help me grow my channel, please do support me through being my member. And thank you all so much. I already have some um, members, channel members, and I call them channel sponsors because, you know, and also they are my friend as well. So thank you all so much. I... I also call them Team Pretty Warriors whenever I am live, but they are actually my little jungle warriors. So anyway, thank you all so much, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.